Hi! It's clean. It's been a little over six months since I've taken my life by the horns and got my breast implants removed, in case you didn't know. So I'm going to share a life update on how my health and boobies are going. But before I do, I must say if you're new to my channel, hello! Please don't forget to subscribe by hitting the red button down below. Turn on the post notifications so you can know every single time I post a video. As always, give this video a thumbs up, leave a nice comment down below, and pretty please share. Even though I finally looked like the hot fantasy figure that all my past partners constantly craved and lust about, I still decided to get my breast implants removed. My implants were making me sick. I could go on and on and on and on about how I felt why I felt like this blah 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 but to sum it up they were make me feel tired angry antsy spacey and a bunch of other unenjoyable feelings due to the fact that my body and immune system were overwhelmed by the fact that I had balls of silicone shoved into my body well now that it's been six months have my symptoms improved are my boobs weird and saggy looking? Well, let me tell ya. Ever since day three of Explant, I have been feeling much more calm, cool, collected, and pain-free. I feel like I have a lot more control over my emotions, myself, my energy, and my life in general. Yes, my life isn't perfect, by the way. I still am not in the best financial situation, but besides that, I still feel a lot better than I did before. I don't get extremely triggered over small things. I don't feel sad and hopeless all the time anymore. Believe it or not, being in pain, it does bring you down. It does kill your energy. It does make you feel hopeless. I'm able to wake up at around 5 a.m. and I feel energized, ready to take on the day. Rather than feeling scatterbrained and tired and hopeless after about a 10 hour sleep versus me now sleeping for like 7 to 8 hours. I notice I'm able to keep my weight at a stable level with very little ease and I'm also able to do more intense workouts without dying like 10 seconds in. I finally feel at more peace with my body because believe it or not, you do love your body more when you feel like it's working more like how it's supposed to. I still do have some health issues that I need to resolve, but that doesn't mean that I should stop loving my body. My body is doing everything it can to show that it loves me by keeping me alive, so why should I hate it? Now to answer the golden question of, how do my boobs look? Well, I'm gonna show pictures of how they looked before and after because, first of all, I don't have videos of before and I can't make the little follow around sensor things. I'm not a professional editor. I don't want to be demonetized for showing lady nipples even though it is for educational purposes or be used as free spank material for somebody that's extremely desperate. Before I had 32 double D saline implants that were embedded under my muscle and I did end up having terrible keloid scarring where the incisions were. Now I have tiny titly squishers that stand at about a 32 a. I was told that I would end up with saggy breasts that I would hate and that I needed to get a lift and new implants inserted in order for me to find myself attractive. One quad city insurgent, <clears throat> I made an entire video on that by the way, told me that I would hate the way my breasts look so much after explant if I didn't get new implants and a lift that I would be back in his office within six months begging for him to schedule me a surgery for gummy bear implants. Um, honey, no. If I had the time or money, I would schedule a consultation just to go there and be like, ha ha ha, I love my tiny boobies. Who remember me? Ha ha. You said I would hate my boobs after X Explant, but guess what? I don't. Maybe instead to save the time and money, I should just send him a letter or call him. I'm sure the phone book has his phone number and address. I love my small boobs. I don't care if they're not perfectly sized or shaped. Notice how I said that in quotes. I think they're perfect the way they are, and that's all that should matter. If my man doesn't like them and he finds that he has the need to lust after other women, well then, yo boy. I ain't settling for a man that doesn't love me as much as I love my. Myself. If you want 
to get your implants removed, just do it. Trust me, it is totally worth it. You don't have to worry about, oh, I'm gonna look ugly, blah, blah, blah. Nah, man, you will feel fantastic and you will love yourself so much. Your health is worth the investment. Do it, trust me. Sending much love. And that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week and I would love for you to see them all. And leave a nice comment down below. Share this video. Bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Okay. And I will see you soon. Bye.